Hi Gemini, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your four month predictive reading. This is for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the months of May, June, July, and August of 2021. If you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday and then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. You could check a different part of your chart, or you can even look around on Mondays because the format is different every week. So there's lots of options there. Thanks to everybody who's been subscribing and hitting that like button. I so appreciate you and everything you do for the channel. It's fun, so we'll keep doing it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber so that you'll know when anything new is posted. All right, let's get the, the guidance here for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know about the next four months, please? What does Gemini need to know? What messages do you have for Gemini about the next four months? Okay. All right, we're going to go month by month here. And then we'll pull some clarifiers and then uh, we'll do the angel answers and we'll get a message from Louise Hay. So you begin here with May with the Three of Cups, the star, the Seven of Swords. I swear to God that comes out in every May. You've got the Seven and Eight right next to each other. How in the world did that happen? All right, this is June. You've got the King of Cups, the Fool, the Two of Cups, and the Hierophant. Into July, you've got the Six of Cups, the Lovers, the Four of Swords, and the King of Wands. And then into August, we've got the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Excuse me, I, I can't buy my stammering. I'm just trying to get these cards so that you can see them a little bit better. Beautiful reading, though, my gosh. That seven and eight is pesky, isn't it? But we're not going to get too hung up on that. Now, I've been taking three cards from the bottom. And um, that one feels so thick. It's only three, though. All right. So uh, before we get into this too far, you have here Gemini. Love to see that. Aquarius. You've got all the elements. And uh, yeah, what else? Um, you have Taurus. And then we have Capricorn over here. So... I feel like they're just, you know, in terms of the clarifiers here, it's all about the search for deeper meaning. It's letting go of limiting beliefs. The devil is here and is often misunderstood. And it really represents a cycle of, of limiting beliefs, limitations, self-doubt. Um, thinking about yourself in a way that is limiting you. And so it really is about allowing yourself to be anything, allowing yourself to this beautiful reading. I mean, you've definitely got love here, no doubt about it. There's reconciliation here. There's healing here, but there is definitely love either way. Um, so with this too, it's also about having reciprocity. And and so, you know, I feel like it's kind of one of those readings in, in these clarifiers in particular with the Eight of Cups being here. It's almost like being able to enjoy your own company. And there's something important about that for somebody. Of really being able to connect with who you are. And that's where the jumping off place is. That's where the good stuff comes in. Is, is when you're in that place. So if you say, you know what, I've traveled solo. I know I, I know I make a great companion. I can see the benefit of that. You know, not that you don't want someone in your life. But being able to kind of be with you and, and feel good about that. So it's definitely letting go though of anything, any perceptions of less than, because you're definitely worth this reading. So you have here um, in the month of May, you know, with this three of cups, this could definitely be a reunion or reconciliation, but it's fun times, you know, it's getting into more social times. It's feeling great. It's being an appreciation. And it's just overall a beautiful energy. You know, it's it's um, a card of like being in ease and flow, not having a care in the world, really. So I do feel like you get off to a great start here. And then as you get into things with the star, this is a rebirth. It's wish fulfillment. And that may be part of that three of cups being feeling like you want to be out again. You, you're, you know, you're busy energy. You're the socialite of the zodiac. 
Um, and it really so is Aquarius. If you're in, into an Aquarius, here they are. But it does feel like it gives you this sense of freedom. And so with this, it's also about connecting spiritually, though. And you have that multiple times in this reading, by the way. It is about meditating, being connected to your higher self, and getting that source guidance. You are in alignment here. So for some of you, it may be work-related, too, and just feeling in flow at work. But it's self-care, for sure. Taking very good care of yourself. And I do feel like this is here next to that 7 and 8 for a reason. It's like advice to just be cautious. Not You don't have to live in fear. It doesn't mean you don't interact with anyone for the entire month of May, because you do have nice aspects here. But there's something with the Seven of Swords that shows up. And I do feel like it may be, um, you know, you're a talker, right? You're a sign that likes to talk and dialogue and all that kind of stuff. I feel like somebody says drinks and dialogue, like they go out for drinks and dialogue. Be careful of this, okay? Be careful of what you might say, because this can be, it can be slander. It can be talking about people. And so you may get yourself into a situation where you think you're just kind of lightly talking and it turns into more. Um, it can be energy towards you. I don't feel like it is, though. I feel like it's almost like you get yourself, your comments get you into a place that you then have to try to backpedal and do damage control. And you don't want to do that. So the seven and the eight right together is pretty crazy. Um, but the eight is a restricted energy. So it also can feel be an uh, energy of feeling shame. And so that's why I do feel like this is more about you and just telling you to calibrate your words. Be careful with that. Um, because with the eight of swords, it makes you feel restricted. And it also can involve a lot of people too. But it's a self-imposed prison. So it's not like anyone's doing anything to you. It's more about you and your mind and overthinking. And again, I feel like there's a sense of guilt or shame here that kind of you go, oh God, how do I how do I deal with this? And I feel like it's a pretty minor part of this reading overall, but just be aware of it because then you can avoid it. If you say, you know what, I'm going to go out, but I'm not going to talk about anybody. I'm just going to be an objective observer. I'm just not going to fall into that. So here's where into June, you've got a really mature love here. I mean, with this King of Cups, this is an open love. It's a love that is, you know, there's no threatening energy around this. It's an, it's a very safe, kind, compassionate kind of energy. Um, and it's somebody who has depth, you know, it's attracting a partner for life when you see things like this. Could be a water sign you're attracting, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but you, yeah, it's interesting because you do have the two and the three here too. And so anyway, with this though, you can be yourself with this person. You know, you can be relaxed. You have a connection, an energetic connection. There's definitely a soulmate here, no doubt about that. Now at work too, I feel like there's sort of this work vibe of grace, extending grace to people, wanting to create a culture or a morale at work that's more focused on mental wellness and emotional fitness in some regard than maybe some of the more scrupulous um, ways of the past, if there's been a really kind of strict work environment, or maybe you choosing to go to something where it just feels easier and lighter, you know, like it's just not as um, product driven or data driven. There's something driven about getting away from something so driven and into really having an atmosphere where you like going there. So as we look at this, I mean, you've definitely got a new beginning and there's a committed partner here, no doubt about that. It's definitely a match, you know, with the Fool. I love to see this energy because it's a card of trust, enthusiasm, and new beginnings. And so with this, there's honesty, there's integrity. But the Fool has, it's the soul, okay? The Fool represents the soul in the Major Arcana. And it's, a, it's an acknowledgement that your soul is always victorious. There's no second guessing here. There's no resistance. The soul is your guide and leads the way. And so you're at this place of freedom, at this place of, of starting something new. And if it's a relationship that's reconciliation, it feels new. It's leaving the past behind. The fool holds his past traumas and experiences in that bag over his shoulder, hung over by this magic wand, right? 
but he doesn't live there. Okay. It's being able to move forward and learning from those, whatever those were without having to recreate them again and again. The fool walks free of the devil energy. The fool, again, is free and carefree. It's a lightness. It's fun in a relationship. It feels brand new. And it feels like an adventure, a very adventurous relationship, a fun relationship. So it's a transition for sure. And, and two, with it being the zero of the deck, it's infinite potential. You've got unlimited possibilities. It is possible. Anything is possible. So with the two of cups, it's a match. And it's like, you know, you're the only two people in the room. You can read each other's energy. You can read what feels like each other's mind. And I feel like it's um, almost like remote viewing or something, you know, that it's like it's it's on that level where you've really gotten into this good place. And it's it's a beautiful relationship. It's definitely a match. It's very reciprocal. You know, you see, they both offer the same size cup. That is significant. It's really that reciprocal energy. Now, I do feel, too, um, with the King of Cups being in here, your health and wellness looks good, too. I do want to acknowledge that if you've had something where you're trying to overcome some kind of physical pain, physical body issue, it looks good in the month of June. So the Hierophant shows up and says, be still and know. And be still and know that I am God is, I think, the full line, but um, it doesn't have to go religious. It is a commitment, though. This is somebody who's a life partner. They're here to stay. They're rock solid. And they're also somebody who is very respected. I also feel like you're very respected too, though, in terms of work with this energy. Um, this can be a card of higher education. So for some of you, if you're dabbling with the idea, it's good to keep looking at it because it's definitely going to be worth your time if you have some area of your life where you want a career change or some kind of a change because that keeps coming up. It's like a change for the better with this, but it's a card of deep spirituality it's meditating, quieting your mind, praying if you do that, being out in nature, and just knowing the universe is inside of you. You have the power that creates worlds within you. So this is your highest teacher, your best teacher, your inner guru leading the way. So oh, the great month here. I love that in June. July too. I mean, it still keeps going. So with July, you've got the Six of Swords, maybe an indicator of travel for some of you. And uh, moving forward, I do feel like if you've been in a breakup, there's an end of a break here. Um, there's reconciliation coming. It's throughout the summer, though, really, in the spring and summer. But it does, it does move forward here. And again, this is also a card of getting your spiritual connectedness and your emotional wellness together as one. And so you move forward. You may have a mentor who shows up here as well. Um, who's just good. It's, it just feels like a good listener too. somebody in your life, more like a friend or a colleague or something like that, that you just get a good relationship and good vibe with. So you've got the lovers. Of course, we want to see that here. So the lovers is guided by Archangel Raphael, and it's a relationship that changes how you see life, it changes your life path. It is a very important dynamic for you. This is very important in your life here, Gemini. And it's going to be one of those things where if there's some kind of obstacle, there's distance or maybe one of you has a kid or kids and there's just sort of like those things that you have to negotiate around that are part of our curriculum here in our earth school. You're doing it. Okay. There's nothing holding this back. You know, it's really divinely guided. Um, it's also about making a choice. And so for some of you, like I said, you've got a choice with work that keeps coming out. And it's almost like staying in the familiar or going into something that makes you, it lifts your vibration. It makes you feel happier. For some of you too, it may be about writing, like a side thing where you're writing or using some kind of communication skills. Um, but again, there's a choice here, but it gives you more opportunities. So it's not a bad choice. You know, it's interesting because when you see the devil here, the cards are designed in a very similar way, aren't they? Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And so with the devil, it's that shadow aspect. And so for those of you where it's about forgiving yourself and allowing yourself more, your shadow is the greatest guide into the light. And so with the lovers, there's not a bad choice to be made. 
Okay, this is not a precarious card where if you pick the wrong thing, it's going to be a devastating consequence. It really is just about guiding yourself. And, and when you're in alignment, you can't make a bad choice when you're in spiritual alignment. Because somebody once made a comment about, what about murders and rape, rape, rapists and stuff? They're not in alignment. They're not in this energy field. They're in this. They're in the devil down there. So um, it's not, and, and I wouldn't even say the devil. That's probably not even accurate. I would say they're so far out of alignment that that has nothing to do with that kind of a, a card and choices. They're good, good possibilities are here. So I mentioned before, if you've been taking a break with the Four of Swords, you're coming out of it. It's time to talk if you haven't been talking to somebody here. For others of you, though, if it's not a break and it's a new love that's here, it may be a time where you d decide just to reconnect with your higher self. It's again, there's a real emphasis on this and every month finding some way to stay connected. And so it's asking it is given. Knock and the door will open. It's taking a break. It's taking a breather, but it's just a reset. It's not an angry kind of a thing. It's just a, a spiritual, mental, and even mind, mind, body, spirit reset, okay? And it gets you ready for all this fiery energy that's coming towards you because you're going to take off like a rocket here. So you've got the King of Wands, very charismatic energy. And I feel like this actually represents you, even though it's fire energy. You've got this real facility to lead and in a way that feels authentic. It's like you're following your life's passion, your life's, your heart's desire here. And so even if there's some minor challenges, you keep moving forward. It's also a card, though, of this relentless drive. And so in a relationship, there's great passion here. But I do feel like there's like this also drive about work life and building a career and building a future. And the King of Wands doesn't stop. The King of Wands is like, if I can do it, so can you. It kind of, in some ways, it's different from the fool with the bag of experiences because he's not as aware of them. Whereas the King of Wands sees that as almost an achievement. You know, I made it through this. So whatever the devil represents for you, it may be some of that too, where you really look back at your life. I feel like somebody's like starting to put together their own memoir or something like that, where they're looking at their own life and saying, you know, I want to write about this. And so do it. You know, you've got a, a, an audience here with the King of Wands. I mean, he leads an audience. So you also have the King of Pentacles, which this is nice to see. In, in August, you've got nice aspects for money. So especially if you are saying, you know, I am ready to make a change at work, the money shows up. If it's starting something new, you've got the resources available here to do it. You also may have some kind of a mentor who shows up, but it's a kind and caring, loving energy. I mean, things grow around you when you're in this energy. It's not a lack conscious. I mean, look at him. He's enshrouded in a garden. It's like he can hardly even get through all this new growth. In a relationship, too, it's flourishing here. And you've got everything you need. You've got the money to go do things together. There's no lack consciousness. And it's a soulmate anyway. I do feel like whoever this person is that you're attracting, that wouldn't matter. If there was some problem, they would be with you. They would stand by your side. They would see you through it. It wouldn't be, a, well, this isn't fun anymore. I'm leaving kind of a thing. It'd be more of a, well, what else can we do here? Um, so with this, it's you too about making sure the job gets done right, you know, and it's also about giving back too. It's stability though in all areas of your life with this card and this energy. So you got the seven of pentacles. And it's sort of that what next. You've done the work. You've paid the price of contrast. You've learned how to manage your own energy here. And you know that you create your own reality. So you start to see these manifestations. For some of you, in August, this is a great time to attract something new like a house or a car or something like that. It may be more about evaluating it than actually going out and making the purchase. Although I don't know what those wands, now that I look at them, because they do tend to push you forward into actually doing it. But with the Seven of Pentacles, it's definitely security financially. And it's also in a relationship too, looking at it and kind of admiring how things are progressing. I feel like you take a look, you take a step back in August, you look at your own life and you're quite pleased with the trajectory. You're pleased with how things are going and you see like, hey, it's all been worth it. Um, 
I do still feel like your own self-acceptance and self-worth are really tied to it. That's part of it as you just kind of come into your own love for yourself. It really just everything takes off. So you've got the Knight of Wands here and I, you know, want, knights have good intentions, so don't let this scare you off because he sometimes gets a bad rap as this in and out flighty energy. And I feel like it's more of an indication of an urgency or a drive, that damn drive that keeps coming back to move forward with things. So some of you in a relationship are ready to move in by August. I mean, it's not going to take long. This is one of those things that really takes off. And there's passion here and it's fun and it's, you know, this is a fun energy too. This isn't somebody who's down in the dumps. There's momentum here and that's exciting. You've got a very exciting predictive reading here because then you end with the Ace of Wands and this is wish fulfillment. It's waving your magic wand. It's that thing that you've always wanted. It's here now. And so as you look at this, the green little, you know, these little teardrops, those are Yads. They stand for the first letter of the name of God in Hebrew their gifts coming your way, their passion. It's a, it's a new love, a new journey. That's like this new leg of your life begins and it's wonderful and it's irresistible. It's like you have all this, this action energy, like, like I said, like being able to wave your wand and it all happens in terms of reconciliation too. Here it is. You've got it many times. So um, some of you, it's not a reconciliation. It's just a new love, but I do see reconciliation possible. All right. So great energy for you. I feel like you're going to be having fun, but you're also having it with a purpose. You know, it's not just this willy nilly thing. It's like, it's, you're enjoying the ride. You're enjoying the journey and that's what we're here to do. So let's see what the angels have to say here for Gemini. All right, you have here, communicate clearly. So the universe always hears you. So be, be clear about what you want. Your brain and heart should be speaking the same language because when they're not, you know which one wins, right? Your heart whispers the truth and that ends up happening. So ask your angels before you listen to tarot, before you you know go to bed at night, ask, ask and it is given. You've got recovery. I mentioned early on about medical issues being resolved. So it may take a bit, but it's here um, within the next few months. All right. So that's always good to see. And you've got a yes. I haven't had this yet. It's an hell yes. It's an emphatic yes. You create your own reality so you can have, do, or be anything. It says, um, this is from Louise Hay. I always feel like this is a special message from spirit when we do these. I am willing to let love in. Open your arms wide and say, I am willing to let love in. It is safe to let love in. Repeat three times. So, you know, you can go outside and do that if you do it early in the morning, as long as you live in a safe area where you can do that. And just take a big deep breath of the universe and know that it, this love is all, it's inside of you. It is you. So I love you, Gemini, and I'll be back again soon.